Well, new tonight, days after the state legislature passed the state budget, the city of Troy joined a growing list of municipalities asking for more state money for infrastructure repairs. Brennan Lewis, live in the Collar City tonight. Brennan, the state has allocated $50 million to help with winterization projects, but again, they want more? Hey, yeah, that's right, Greg. One Troy council member estimates that the city will only receive about $100,000 of that money. Instead, the, they have their eyes on the state surplus of $5.4 billion, hopefully getting a small chunk of that money that drivers say could be used to fix the city's pothole problem. All my hubcaps on my car are gone. That's how it is driving here in Troy. I mean, you hit a hole everywhere you go. You know, and it's costing me too much. This car is just one of the many casualties of pothole season in Troy. Pusick Street, which carries some 42,000 cars each day, is considered by some to be one of the worst. The second time, and I'm not replacing them until summer, until they, fix, until they fix the potholes. It's not only costly, potholes are also hazardous. Up on Oakwood, like, you'd have to get into the other lane to dodge them, which can be dangerous because the other car is coming at you. Troy is no stranger to infrastructure issues. All winter long, they battled water main breaks and the infamous frozen pipe saga that left some homeowners without water for days. The city council unanimously passed a resolution asking for more state funding. Sponsor Jim Gordon says it joins a request from Rensselaer and Saratoga counties, as well as Nassau and Skodak. Through our city budget, we can only address so much, but with the state's uh, you know one-time windfall, if you will, of five point whatever billion dollars, you would think that they could uh, find a better way to equally divide that up between the upstate communities. Gordon estimates the state budget includes an additional $100,000 for Troy's infrastructure problems, a drop in the bucket compared to the $1 billion city leaders estimate are needed for all repairs. Next thing you know, the next winter is on the, on the cusp of happening again, and we'll go through the same vicious cycle again. And residents are often left paying the price, in this case, $60 in lost hubcaps. It's too much. Too much but this is what Troy did to my car. Now, tonight's resolution is simply a request by the city for the state to take action. Some state lawmakers, though, are stepping in. They are joining the fight, saying that money should be used toward infrastructure. So far, no decision has been made on where that money will be used. We're live in Troy, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.